All right, guys, so now that we have the engine cover in, final piece, the radiator shroud. So, when I first looked at the part, when I first looked at it and saw three pieces, I thought it was a three piece setup, but it's not. So if you're like me and you have the factory air box, you're gonna be using the smaller piece. And it literally just goes over uh, the air box. The, there it is. This is actually the smaller piece. This will go right here, right over the air box. If you had an aftermarket intake, then you use the bigger piece up. So we'll keep this for later on if I do switch the intake out. But, um, but yeah, this was in there. I thought this was just packing. No, it's not just packing. You actually have to cut this and line it along the edges here. So I'll show you that in a bit. But for now, let's take this out. That wrinkle bread. Okay. One piece. So this is going to come over here, and then this one. It's gonna sit right here. So we're gonna connect up. We're using the hardware to connect these two together. And this is what it's gonna look like. Now, some prep work you need to do. All of these bolts have to come off. Okay, we're showing it. Um, these bolts have to come off. This metal uh, piece, trim, whatever, comes out. We're going to need to press this clip in. You can see here there is something inside that you're gonna squeeze in see when I squeeze it and then push that let me get a screwdriver to help pry it so there we go you literally just press this back in and then pull this forward and this is out we just need that loose we gotta loosen not take off these two because this bracket is gonna slide in between and you got to take this off make sure the engine's cold before you take this off or you will burn yourself the car's been sitting for a while so mine is cold all right so that out the way you're able to put this in now another thing parent tells you to do and i can see why they want you to rotate get this back out the way they want you to rotate rotate this clip so the clip part faces up so it doesn't get in the way like it is right now when I'm trying to push this in. So let's do that. All we're gonna do is just squeeze this in and rotate it to face upwards um, so we can get this in. All right guys, again, apologize for the wind. So we got our cap off and we turned the clip facing upwards. Now I just wanna take this clip out, just do that. Taking it completely off, we're just slackening it. Okay, there we go. Now that that's loose, oh, also, this first step on it. This trim up here, we're gonna have to remove. And it's being held in by these stupid clips. If the clips get stuck, take them out, guys. Don't be lazy. Because they'll just eventually fall out and fall somewhere in your engine bay. But yeah. There we go. Sometimes they come out right away. Sometimes you just need a pliers or a flat to get it out. Alright, so to assemble this, pretty simple. Just line this up like so. There is an indent 
on the left side so that goes on the bottom and that goes up top and then you just use the hardware that they provide bolt and still windy so for the foam we just need that much we need enough to go from here to here and from this bend to this bend that's it so we're gonna measure a piece out cut it out and go from there Perfect. Alright, so now that we got everything out the way and we got our two pieces of foam on to help channel the ear and see how everything fits so this is gonna come here now these slots are all designed to go in between here so now that we put the foam in you're gonna have to fight it a little bit to push it down but that's perfectly fine so once you have it positioned you just press it be behind this bracket and then we can tighten these back in. We can pop this back into place and then screw this down. Um, I'm still gonna make a little incision here because I don't like how this bends. I want this to be a little more, uh, for it to sit a little better. Uh, as for this side. As for this side, it looks like I might've cut a little bit short. <laughs> as you can see, there's a bit of a gap. So I'll get another piece. I still have plenty left over and I'll redo it so it covers up this gap. But after we do that, we're just going to tighten this down. We're just going to tighten this down, this down, put this back real close. We're going to take our metal plate, put it back here, and bolt it back down. And that should be it. So let me do that, and I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, guys, so there we have it. We got fender shrouds, engine cover, and the radiator shroud all in. Now I actually need to clean up my engine bay, <laughs> but very happy with how this came out. The install was not hard at all, actually. Again, Perrin gave you everything you needed, hardware and tools to put everything together. And the rest was just following the instructions and their instructions are pretty detailed, so it's pretty cool. Um, super stoked on how they look and very happy with the outcome. So that'll do it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.